facts gaming video real quick. I don't know if you've heard, but we're actually having a giveaway. Go watch that giveaway video or check it out. Win some sweet prizes. Get some sleeves, deck boxes, and even a mat. All right, let's get to it real quick. It's just going to be a quick deck list here. And you keep watching on and I'll explain my decisions and stuff like that. Along with uh, some games playing in the background. So let's get to it. Real quick for the main deck. I run three Arlen Kino. I'll explain why later on. Just uh, keep watching the list for now. That's the only amazement monster I run. Uh, for the Musketeers, three Starfire, three Casper, one Kid Brave. I know some people are like, one Kid Brave? What? They're just, just, I'll explain. One Doc and one Calamity. And to round up our monsters, finish off with three Effect Veiler. Why not Ash? Well, I'll explain that right now. Well, not right now, right, right after this, but uh, let's keep going. <laughs> three Pot of Desires. There's better options. But like I said, I'll explain in a minute. Three of your best spell in the whole entire deck. Three time ticket. One monster reborn. And one double or nothing because you got that OTK option right there. For traps, you run three last stand to negate those spells and traps. Three desperado to pop those face ups. One dancing needle to remove cards from the grave. For the amazement stuff, we have, of course, three horror house. And actually run one cyclo coaster. Like I said, I'll explain right now. To finish off the traps, two solemn strike and two infinite impermanence. Well, if you're still here, stay tuned because we're gonna go to the explanations right now. All right, guys, thank you for making it. Uh, if I sound a little agitated, I'm sorry. This is like the third time I try to record this. Hopefully, it works this time. But anyways, let's move on. So let's start off with the amazement part. So the reason why I run three Arlen Kinos and uh, one of the cyclo coaster. It's because I just want more targets for the time ticket. Also, right off the bat, as you can see, the deck is 41 cards. You could easily make it 40, just take out anything. You could even take out one more Arlen Kino in the Cyclo Coaster if you want. Throw in another Solemn Strike, even one of these guys, doesn't really matter. Uh, the Amazement stuff is probably going to be the most expensive part of this deck. These decks are going to be more budget friendly for everybody. Also, this is the first episode of Howl's Random Decks, the, the name's up there. Sorry, I didn't even introduce this damn thing when I started the video, but whatever. So in a particular order, because uh, this program just puts in whatever order, alphabetical order I guess. You got your Musketeers here, I only run one of him, because I feel like I'm going to be already having lots of banished cards because of the pot of, pot of Desires over here. Same thing with the Dock, I'm going to have lots of banished stuff, so I don't really need to be bringing back so much stuff from the grave. Pretty much how I have this deck is not really a... How, how I play it is not a magical Musketeer with some amazement splashed into it, it's more amazement with the magical Musketeer engine in it we go on to our effect bailers uh honestly not the best card <laughs> it's a good budget option it still does stuff but i i highly recommend maybe droll and lock and ash i really i personally like droll and lock way better right now maybe some nibiru's but does that can't really run over big numbers and if you give them a nibiru token that's huge you better hope to pop that sucker with arlen kino or something moving on to pot of desires yes you could run pot of extravagance or pot of prosperity better i personally would like pot of extravagance better just because the more draws the better since you want to set some more traps or have more of those musketeer cards in hand. Pot of Desires is the same thing, you could draw two, you just banish the top ten. Risky, but somehow it's uh, been working out pretty damn good. Monster Reborns, you know, because nothing here is restricted from those special summoning stuff. Where some cards would say you can't be special summoned or this and that. Not even Arlen Kino. Your time tickets, of course, to search out everything. Your even better versions of Infinite Impermanence right here. Your only OTK option here in Double or Nothing. Two impermanence that you could easily cut and you know put in some solemn strikes or some judgments. You know, get your side deck down here, but just side deck. Your three face up poppers. A better DD Crow to remove three cards. Your amazing stuff. Your spell and trap negation and your monster effect slash special summon negation. Moving on to the extra deck. Think Karibo because you do run some level ones here in Effect Veiler. Your magical musketeer Max, which is technically your boss monster, but you can get ridiculous amount of cards in hand sometimes. <laughs> what is the fact? Or special summon, you could spam a little bit. But you're definitely going to be adding more cards in head to hand than special summoning. You got your uh, nightmare package. I don't know why the light charmer is right in the middle of these. Alphabetical, I guess. But yeah, you got your nightmare package, light charmer. Of course, your utopia double, which will go into utopia. And if he's still on the field, you can slap a lightning on top of him. And some rank fours that I just like here. You know, dweller is always good. Um, honor arc. I just like honor arc. Get a draw from emerald. And I just really like redoer just for his... For a stupid effect to get the top card from your opponent's deck. It's pretty damn funny sometimes. Now to your quick side deck here. Two Gam Seals. 
one Dino Wrestler, two Lancia, Red Geki, Harpy Spider Duster, Dark Ruler No More. Really budget now, especially with the structured decks. They are already budget before, but now you got like no excuses. Triangle Tributes, another one of the Dancing Needle, just in case you need to remove some more stuff, and round it up with two Solemn Judgments, just in case you need to try to slow down the game even more. But yeah guys, this is probably the last time I'll be doing Amazements for a while, because last time I also did an Amazement Madolcha deck. I don't want to just keep throwing this in everywhere to see where it works. If something comes out to get more support or something that works really better, well then, you know, I'll make another Amazement profile. But we are in the banlist season, and I really loved windups before, and Zen Mighty's been banned for far too long, and I say in his honor, we do a windup deck in the next video. But yeah guys, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the little games that are also around here on the screen. Don't forget about that giveaway I mentioned in the beginning, and I'll see you guys next time.